Hello heroes, it's Dr. Zeno with 15 Minute Fuel. We're just at 15 minutes a day for your mind, your body, and your future. Well, thank you for giving me a little bit of time off. We have been uh, traveling like crazy, uh, doing a lot of workshops out there, a lot of like uh, sitting in uh, seminar style things for hours upon end, and a lot of big decisions had to be made. So I just kind of, uh, I just kind of, kept that time to protect it a little bit. So I appreciate you guys for that. Thanks for all your emails and stuff. You know, I'm still around. So we're gonna hit it hard, and then we'll really start picking up really, really uh, big again in October when We Are Heroes Season 2 comes out. So I'm really excited for that. So once again, you know, these are also on podcast on Stitcher, iTunes, and SoundCloud. And you can always go to our YouTube channel, Dr. Zeno, and you'll have all the 15-minute fuels in order. And they're uh, loaded up daily, you know, so we're pretty much on top of it. And uh, the We Are Heroes show will be going that as well. Today we had a diet hack come out on Facebook, so check that out. It's kind of my chiropractor story. It is a secret diet hack. People are like, so what's a, a secret to dieting? And people are like, well, how's chiropractic a, a secret to dieting? Because my entire body is functioning correctly. You know, when I diet, I have to exercise, I have to train. And that's not going to work if, I, if my body's shutting down or breaking down. My nervous system allows me to recuperate from training hard. My nervous system allows me to digest the food I eat and the supplements I take for better nutrition. My nervous system allows my thyroid to function optimally. So when I do do cardio and I do eat no carbs for my first you know, two meals, and skip, it allows my thyroid to stay active, to burn fat the way it's created to. Um, all these things you need a properly functioning nervous system to. And again, I went over the myths, you know, of what people think chiropractic is. You know, I mean, it's uh, you ask a thousand people, you get a, a thousand different answers. So I told you uh, what I practice and how uh, what it really was was to be. And so hopefully that shed light on. Uh, of course, my doctor friends out there, you get it. But it's a great thing to sh uh, to, to be able to show and serve other people because they just think it's for a back and neck pain. But it's like you kidding me. I could be in the best shape of my life. You know, everything, every process of my body, every cell of my body, if I want it to work correctly, I have to make sure that as much message and energy from my brain, the intelligence from my brain is getting to that cell. And there's no other way that happens, but between that, but, but you know, using that nervous system, my brain, my spinal cord to get those messages there. Period. So anything interfering with that will interfere with my goals. So when someone wants to lose weight, when someone wants to stop smoking, when someone doesn't want to be depressed, when someone is binge eating all the time and they can't stick to their diet because they're binge eating because their chemicals like serotonin and all these other things are so out of whack because there's interference, you know, you go back to it. Chiropractic. You know, it allows my body to function, do what it's supposed to do. And it's just not my body, it's every single person's body. So if someone receives it, and like that psalm believes it, then great, they reap the benefits. But if someone wants me to show them a 70 page, uh, 700 page research journal and the quotations, you know, I'm not a big research guy, I'm an evidence guy. I'm living proof, I'm evidence, and I have 16,000 patients that I've seen that are evidence. So um, if you want, you'll never get research from me because real life people, real life testimonies, real life situations trumps any bit of research. And when someone wants research, there's no amount of research that I could ever give you that allow you to become a believer. You either see it with your eyes. That's another thing. You know, I was talking about the hero thing before we get into this. And uh, someone commented, and it was a good comment. And I love, I love, it was, um, they so love the idea that there's this inner hero, this inner child that has optimism, imagination, um, no concept of time, vertical time, you know, closers. They ask why, they, they question limitations, they're playful, imagination, or creativeness, all these things. So they love that concept and they wanted, and they asked me, do you have any literature on that? Like, like, is there some, like, like, was there some study done on that? I'm like, uh, uh, yeah, every six-year-old and under. Open your eyes. And so we're in a society today, and I, I have so appreciate the question because this person wasn't being tough or anything. I just realized that in society, we we have never took the time to think for ourselves, a lot of us. So someone, like, we don't believe anything until somebody else, right? And somebody else tells us how to eat, how to think, how to breathe. It's almost like if someone doesn't tell me who wrote some book, then I, I, I can't, I, I can't believe it. I, 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 so no. And I said, listen, just, you know, I said, use your own eyes, you know, trust inward. So many times we're, we're, we're trusting. We put so much, Bruce Lee said this. I love this quote. He says, we put so much faith on the external 
that we never give credit to the internal, meaning that like, we're, we're, it wasn't like that. I got it written down. It was amazing. It's on this phone. I got to get it. But some, basically to the point where we put faith on something that's told to us, but we put the least amount of faith on inward, the actual truth that's inside us. So I'll get that quote another time. So anyways, that leads us into, drum roll please, it leads us into um, choosing your vehicle of value or your vehicle of influence. So when choosing your vehicle of influence, this is, what is your message? Okay. How do you get your message from here, your head and your heart, to the world? How are you going to do that? That could be speaking. That could be Facebook Lives. That could be podcasting. That could be writing. That could be webinars. That could be vlogging, like the We Are Heroes shows. That could be audio, like podcasting. That could be articles that you put out. That could be, but there's some type of media that you need to use as a platform to get that out. But what we have to address, and I didn't address it, is you know, because I was in a, a two-day seminar working on this, there's people that had a message, but when it came to their vehicle of influence, they would say, well, how do I do that? Or I don't know if I'm going to be good at that. Or I would like to do that, but I don't know how to do that. So there, yes, there does require skill that needs to be learned or developed over time. And the thing is, you're not going to be really good at it. You could have some some raw material, but you will not be amazing at it uh, without practice. And you know, today, if you look at my diet, so make sure you go to Facebook, uh, my Facebook page, and check out that diet hack. In fact, look at all my diet hacks. Now, when you watch those diet hacks, you'll notice, and I watched it today, and here's a little uh, insight on you guys, a little inside stuff here. When you watch them, it almost looks like I, it's I don't know, it just looks like I woke out of bed. I'm kind of quiet. I'm lacking a little energy. It's kind of down, you know, just, I'm just kind of talking. And you'll notice there's a, there's a change, like it's not the Chris you're used to seeing, right? And you'd be like, wow, you know, is he tired? Is he sleepy? Is he, uh... but what I do have to tell you is those diet hacks, all of them recorded July 10th, 2016. So all the diet hacks that are being released were recorded in 2016. So the Chris that you see today on, on the cool videos and on the We Are Heroes or on the 15 Minute Fuels and what looks like it's easy to me or it could come natural, you're look, you understand it was a solid year of practice. And so when you look back, you get to see, so whatever that vehicle of influence is for you, it's writing, it's speaking, it's video, whatever that is, it's singing, it's a combination of things. You know, looking back, it should be a little rough your first couple months. But then after a while, you'll start to get better and better as you do it more and more. So in the doing, you develop the skill. You follow what I'm saying? So as you do it, you become more comfortable, your confidence gets raises up. We talked about when, you know, as I was doing the 15 minute fuels, it's okay, uh, one thing, doing something daily. And I'm telling, I'm, cha I'm not gonna challenge you, I'm challenging you, yes I am, but I'm also telling you to do it daily. Because if it's your message and you talk about it or write about it or sing about it or speak about it daily, you get excited, right? It's, and it keeps momentum. It keeps you from getting stale and it keeps you, it keeps your heart moving in the direction of winning and, and getting it done. Or why is it just becomes a great idea that never happened and you live in regret? So one thing I know is doing it daily is you have to submit to, to the fact that not every day will be a home run. Not every day will be the, the day before in your eyes, but there's someone out there that that day that you feel it wasn't great, it's exactly what that person needed to hear. So it really helps, uh, it, it really exposes insecurities that you have about yourself, knowing that it's information that every single person could really want and desire. Another thing you start to find out around 180 days or 200 days, you're like, wow, I'm gonna have to start repeating topics, or I already spoke about that. But then again, it's your message. There's plenty of other people that didn't hear it. You know, those of you watching me right now, you weren't around um, five months ago. You know, I saw, I've saw i seen groups of people, they were always there consistently. It was like, wow, this is like my new best friend, and they disappear. I mean, my mom's probably not even on this thing anymore. She used to be here every day. So what I'm trying to say is that you know, people go through cycles, ups and downs. So this is where, as long as you stick to your message and you hear it a different way, like there's so many times I watch speakers and I'll, I'll watch their uh, their keynotes. And even though it's the same keynote, I still, I still get something great out of it, right? So even if you have a message, you're not, uh, you know, just speak it and it's not, you don't feel that you have to re, 
you know, reinvent your, 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 your purpose. So these are all things. So choose your vehicle. So I challenge everybody today, if it is video or like this, do a Facebook Live every single day, five minutes. And so what's going to happen is this. You're going to do it and you have an audience of one person. And you'll be like, wow, we got one person. But you know what? That's great. And then after a while, you're going to have a, a room full of people, five or ten people. And then over, over time, you'll have a hundred people. And then you'll look in a day and you had a thousand views. And so it actually turns into like a mega stadium worth of people over time. And they're all here in your message and you're connecting to them. And you're starting to build a following, a gathering, you know, a, a group of like-minded people that appreciate what you do and they appreciate your message. Now, the sad part is what if you didn't do it? What if you didn't write the blog? What if you, if you didn't do the podcast? What if you didn't do that little audio thing, that Snapchat, that Instagram story? What if you didn't do that Facebook Live? You know, those thousands of people would have never heard your message. And your message could just be you living your day. It could be like, hey, I'm a mom, a single mom. I got two kids and they're driving me freaking crazy. Has any other mother ever, you know, like, I mean, it could just be you. And then what I think it's great about it, if you could show vulnerability and showing that you don't have to be perfect, it helps you realize that the world's not looking for a perfect you. They're looking for a hero, which is the true authentic version of you. And I, I, you become inspiring to other people. And remember, we want to inspire others so to leave a blueprint so they themselves can give themselves permission to do greater and mighty things. And so this is what it's all about. So choose your vehicle. Now, those are the vehicles. You know, we're living in a social media world. It's not going anywhere. Well, this is what I'm talking about. We're on the cups of it. We gotta, you gotta get into it. So whether it be Instagram or if you're, uh, if you're an artist, Instagram is for you. If you take pictures, Instagram, put a nice quote there. What a question to engage people. Um, if you could do little videos, 10, 11, 11 second stories or something on Instagram or Snapchat or on Facebook or Facebook and Instagram, keep those. But you know, develop a community. It's called social community. The community gives you feedback. It helps you work on your craft, your skill, and your future. Remember, remember what we do? We're here for what? Your mind, your body, and your future. It's all about that. And I could tell you in, uh, in, those, in that 16 weeks, we took the hero concept to something that was real and amazing. You know, it all, you saw the whole process that started. So it's not something that's a theory. It works. But I, don't want, I want it to work for you guys as well. And I want you to do it. It doesn't take much to do something five or ten minutes per day. And you get instant feedback. And you know what the really cool thing about it? In the beginning, when you do set out your article, your blog, and your article... Or a blog could be, you could write something on Instagram or write something on Facebook. It doesn't have to be this major article. Just your thoughts, like journal, put it on there. And the great thing about it is you're going to be received with love in the beginning, right? Because who is it? It's going to be your friends. It's going to be people who do know you, who do care about you. So you'll get some good good feedback in the beginning. You'll be accepted and well, so it's not, it's not too brutal. And then uh, you'll get really good feedback to help develop and shape that, that beautiful statue that's, uh, that is your message. And then as you get bigger, then you'll get some haters and some naysayers, which is even fine. I mean, it's just part of the process, and, but you still learn from them as well. So it really is a very uh, beautiful way of entering into your next, your hero mode. You know, what is inside you? You know, take off the secret identity, which is what? Uh, for some of you, it's the nine to five job. You know, you could be the hero where you're at, but if you, you know, after that nine to five job, what is the, what is the thing that you always wanted to do or be? Or maybe you're not quite sure, which is okay, but now it's time to find out. And the only way you find out is by trying stuff, right? How do you know you like it? The only way you're gonna know that you're great at video is by doing it a lot of times. And then if you enjoy it, you like it, you wanna keep on doing it. But I could tell you how to do video, but you, but you, you don't learn unless you do the video, right? I could tell you to write, but you won't know if you like writing unless you start writing. And give it a chance. So it's like the buffet of life I talk about. Try these different things. You'll see the things you gravitate towards. And the ones you gravitate towards them, then you do them in repetition and you develop your skill in them. And it's a great skill, right? The more skill, the better. So if you're not going to do your hero message, whatever that might be, um, at, you know, on your own, then you might be the person who does videos uh, for everybody at work to uh, promote work, whatever. Or maybe they do commercials. I don't know what it is, but you're never going to... You're only going to benefit from moving forward, developing your skills, 
and telling your message. Have an amazing day. Thanks for watching 15 Minute Fuel. Please comment and hit the share, hit the like, hit the loves and the kisses and all that stuff there. Uh, share it so much. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow will be Tuesday. Yep, I'm going to Milwaukee tomorrow, but I'll, be, I'll see you guys before then. And have a great day with 15 Minute Fuel, where together we fuel our minds, our bodies, and our futures. God bless. We'll see you tomorrow.